Previously on Devious Maids. Oh my god. Now, I've been keeping Tucker away from it all. Does he know what happened to his mommy? He knows, but I don't think he understands. Spence Westmore, you're under arrest for the murder of Perry Westmore. If someone suspects, I can prove he's innocent. Oh yeah, he was here. So he was here between one and three and not at home? I'm here to help. We need to find out who really killed Perry. I have a witness. Her name is Cinnamon. This case is closed. We've already got a confession. Thank you. As long as I'm in this chair, he won't leave me. Give it up. I know you can walk. I'm leaving you. Evelyn, we were meant to be together. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you. I'm Daniela. Your cousin Josefina's daughter? That girl's your daughter? My cousin Josefina. She raised her as her own. So she doesn't even know she's adopted. I'm gonna be working here. That's a maid. Name? I'm a hot girl. I can see that. Big fashion is that just bought this place and she's gonna be gone for six months. I was drinking and trying on the owner's gowns. This really cute guy came over and assumed I own the house, so I went with him. Kyle, is that you? You didn't mention your mother was visiting. Oh, she's not visiting. She lives here. That's great. I can see why you want to spend time with her. I like her too. But not for you. I have other plans for you, Kyle. So I think there's something. Between us. Peter, husband number three, the one who got away. Please stop dating Peter. I'm not breaking up with him. This means war. I can't believe you've never been here. It's one of my favorites. Well, you have good taste in men. I'm sure you have good taste in food, too. So. Oh, I have great taste in food. Jerry's still out of the men. <laughs> Hi, I have a reservation. Marisol's flight is for two. I don't have you. I just called yesterday. Well, it's not there. <laughs> you don't seem to be that busy. I'm sure you could still see this even without a reservation. I'm afraid not. Take that couple to table nine, please. I hope you don't have a reservation. I'm sorry. One of our regulars has requested we not serve you. Excuse me. I think what you're doing is shameful, seeing that woman's husband. Ex-husband. Peter, how wonderful to see you. Jovyev, are you blocking us from eating here? I love the smell of that aftershave. Or is that just your natural manly musk? Don't talk about his musk. What a shame you couldn't be seated. Would you like to join me, Peter? I have an extra chair. She is ignoring me. You can see very well that I'm a marathon. Perhaps you can have a little doggy bag in the car. Don't make me take off my earrings. Come on, we'll go somewhere else. I told you she was upset. Can't you do anything about it? John Bia, this is like a brain sex. If we ignore her, she'll stop it. Eventually. Come on. You're a studio head. You terrify people for a living. All she did was cancel a reservation. If that's the worst she's got, it's not really that bad. Can I guess you right? There's my car. What the hell? John Via Bellator says hello. Honey, what are you doing? Oh, my bad. I don't care about the couch, I'm talking about the <laughs> Relax. It's medical marijuana. Really? Yes, I have glaucoma. You shouldn't be doing drugs. I thought you were cooler than this. I'm cool. It's just like my mom telling me how to live my life. That's why I had to get away from her. You didn't let me finish. You shouldn't be doing drugs inside the house. If Mr. Powell walked in, you'd be in big trouble. Oh, I mean, if he was just you and me, I said, 
Do whatever you want. I don't mean I'm fun. But Mr. Powell will fire you like that. Oh, where else is Carmen? Where are you going? Did Mr. Powell ask you to scrub the floors? He did. But my glaucoma really hurts. because Mrs. Azarian retrieves the morning paper in her brazier. I promise to never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carl home? I was hoping he could come out and play. Oh, no, he's out of town. Family business. Oh, I hope everything is okay. Oh, nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm just surprised he never mentioned a trip. If it's any consolation, he left me in the lurch, too. We have plans today. Oh. Any chance you want to come to a charity lunch with me today? I, look, I know you were hoping for Kyle, but honestly, I'm much better company. I, no doubt. It, it's just... I, 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 you're going to love it. It's a thousand bucks a plate. You don't have to pay a nickel. A thousand bucks a plate? I mean... Some change for you and me. But still, Mario Batali is catering. Oh, and the gift bags. And last year's door prize was a trip to Barcelona. Oh, my God. Is that a yes, then? That's a hell yes. Wonderful. Being in my circle has its perks, Oila. You'll see. It's lovely of you to check on me, Marisol, but I am fine. Well, divorce is never easy, so if there's anything you need... Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you smell amazing. I just had a detox massage. Lemongrass, coconut oil, and jojoba. I don't know what jojoba is, but it sure is a hoot to say jojoba. <laughs> if it's not completely obvious, they allowed me to drink vodka during my detox massage. Unbelievable. Another one of my maids was just fired from her job. That is the third one today. What a shame. I know this might sound crazy, but I think Genevieve Delator is behind it. Oh, don't be silly. Of course she's behind it. You're dating her ex. She put a fatwa out on you. A fatwa? Oh, yes. You are persona non grata in Beverly Hills. It's a risk for me to even be talking to you. You weren't followed, were you? Stop that. It's just the hotel manager. I'll only be a moment. Hello, Theodore. This is Powell. I need to speak with you about a sensitive matter. 
Before you say anything, that massage therapist placed my hand there himself. Uh, no, no, it's not that. Uh, Mrs. Powell, the credit card we have for you has been... declined. Declined? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that concept. Unfortunately, you can't stay in the room without a valid card. I, I don't understand. Our business manager always pays the bills promptly. Adrian sees to that. <gasps> Carmen, which one of these canes goes best with my golfing attire? Why do you need a cane? I've been faking paralysis for the better part of six months. I'd like my sudden recovery to be miraculous, but still believable. The black one, the gold one, makes you look like a pimp. Hmm. Gold it is. I thought I asked young Daniela to do the floors today. Oh, she did them. But I wanted to do them again. I'm a perfectionist. Helen, you don't just miss a spot. You miss entire rooms. I'm turning over a new leaf. You let this girl get away with murder. She's out all night. She doesn't come to work. I don't understand why you don't say something. I want to. Okay, but it's not my job to fix her. You're her mother. No. Her mother is my cousin, Josefina. And she's very judgmental. Danny can't stand it. So you're just going to be what? Her, uh, friend? Danny just needs me to be cool. I didn't have anyone telling me what to do at that age. Yes, and look how good you turned out. So, how's that been going with Tucker? No, 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 Pretty much like that. He's been having a meltdown all day, and I'm about to have a meltdown myself. It's all right. Spence needs me to look after Tucker from now on. And I know just what he needs. An exorcism? He needs a lovey. A stuffed animal or a blanket he carries around like it's the most important thing in the world. He has something like that. It, it was dirty, so I was going to throw it in the wash. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He stopped. You just missed your friend, didn't you, Tucker? <laughs> You know, I'm much better at this. Don't take it personally. He's just missing his mommy and poppy. So, how is this? He's convinced he killed Perry, but it doesn't make any sense. Do you know a guy named Ben? Sure, he's Perry's manager. He visited the jail right before Spence confessed. I know it sounds weird, but I'm wondering... No, it's not weird. Before Perry died, Spence was starting to remember things. And then Ben talked to him. And Spence was different. He didn't even want to remember it anymore. Julie. Ben is washing Spence's brain. That's why he confessed. Oh, hello. I didn't realize anyone would be here. Can I help you? I should. I'm Barry's sister. I still can't believe she's gone. Of course. But my condolences. I'm Jessie. I worked for her. Oh, well, I knew her too. I'm Rosie. Yes. You're the one who stole my sister's husband. Good, mommy. You look like Hillary Clinton. I just came from a very swanky charity luncheon where they gave out these as party favors. Ah, Maria Purissima. Is that real gold? Can I just say, I freaking love you, Rich. They just give you that for free? Apparently, if you have money, they just give you free stuff. I really hate you right now. That's not all. Francis' friends keep inviting me to dinner parties. I'm never paying for a meal again. Don't say anything to Marisol. She got me my job. I don't want her to know about all this. I'll keep your secret if you give me that watch. Hey there, cowboy. Yeah, why are you walking like that? Because I'm dating Genevieve's ex-husband, and apparently she's friends with my waxer. I just got a revenge wax. Oh, slash you. You're dating Genevieve's ex? Mm -hmm. Which one? 
Peter Hudson. The young one. She never got over him. I don't understand it. You always said that Jean-Vierre doesn't have a mean bone in her body. Unless you steal her man, then it's all out war. Has she sent you the box of A's yet? Oh, my God. The best way to hurt someone like Jean-Vierre is to go for the face. Switch her lipstick with glue and shave her eyebrows while she's sleeping. I can't do that. You have to fly back, Marisol. Your coochie's under attack. You know what? Wait. I have more ideas. You have a revenge list in your purse? Remind me to never get on your bad side. I'm surprised that Viev even wants Peter back after what he did. What did he do? He just left. Out of the blue, I see. No warning, no explanation. Nada. Oh, Peter's not a cruel person. There must have been a reason. Well, if there was, he never told jean Viev what it was. <laughs> 32 is perfect. But like Zedib's in her coffee. You are terrifying. And now I can't drink this. Now, listen, I know your sister didn't like me. Oh, she hated you. Hated? Hated, hated. Fortunately for you, I don't hold grudges. Really? Life is just too short. Is there anything else I can do? Gloria, you're too kind. Will you come with the house? Excuse me? The house. I'll be moving in. Barry left me in charge of her estate. She did? Oh, well, technically, it's all in a trust for Tucker, but I'll be calling the shots until he comes of age. Wow, this house is ginormous. How many bedrooms? Six. Miss Shannon, what about Tucker? What happens to him? I have custody. He's my number one priority. What do you think the square footage is here? No idea, but why don't I go get Tucker for you? I'm sure he'd love to see his aunt. Oh, no rush. Miss Shannon. I hope you let me stick around. I still want to be a part of Tucker's life. Why don't think my sister is approved? Spence wants me here. I don't care what Spence wants. You murdered my sister. No, he's innocent. I give you your concern, but I'm more than capable of taking care of my nephew, and I get if you interfering, but I agree. I understand. Oh my god, is that a tennis court? Hey, how are you? Carmen, my entry code doesn't work. Adrian must have changed it. Hello? Who is this? For God's sake, it's Evelyn. May I ask what this is regarding? This is regarding your employment or lack thereof. Now open the gate. I need to talk to my weasel of a husband. Tell her I'm not in. I'm sorry, Mr. Powell is not available. I know he's there. Tell her she's a hateful shrew and you no longer work for her. Say that? She wants to kill me. Look at her eyes. That's just her natural expression. Evelyn has resting murder face. Carmen, you tell that spineless toad the next time he hears from me, it'll be through my attorney. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. What is going on here? I shut off her credit cards and bank accounts so she'd understand what life would be like without me. That is very immature. I don't need to be scolded. You want to parent someone, try your daughter. Do you really think you're going to win Mrs. Pablo back by, by cutting off her money and making her miserable? Yes. Isn't it romantic? <laughs> So glad you're 
glad you stopped by. Can I get you anything? Uh, no, I can't stay. I just wanted to ask about something. Is everything okay? Oh, do I have to get back to watch? No, it's about my friends. I was talking to some of them, and there's been some rumblings. Rumblings? <laughs> this is so stupid. But I'm hearing that you've accepted several social invitations, but you haven't extended any of your own? And that's a problem? Oh, well, yes. I mean, you know how those highfalutin society gals are. Oh, yes, of course. I took it upon myself to smooth things over for you. Oh, thanks, Francis. You are having everyone over for a cocktail party Friday night. Whoa, Francis, I can't throw together a party in two days. Relax, your girl will do all the work and serve the guests. You do have a maid, don't you? <laughs> of course I have a maid. Why wouldn't I? I'm rich. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, shoot. You don't want to wake up. I've been tossing and turning all night, so I just thought I'd... Sneak out. Never come back. Or I was going to go pick up some groceries and surprise you with breakfast in bed. Seriously? Yes. But your idea that I was just going to walk out forever for no reason is a good theory, too. It's not like it hasn't happened before. What are you talking about? I know what you did to Genevieve. You abandoned her and you didn't say a word. Is that what you heard? Look, I wasn't the bad guy. Sean Vieff cheated on me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But why did you just leave without talking? I was young and stupid. Maybe I wanted to hurt her, too. But look, you've got to know. I've changed since then. And I really like you. I'm not going anywhere. I like the sound of that. Except the part where Jean Pierre fills in the car with snakes. <laughs> she won't. All we have to do is keep ignoring her. You've been doing that for years. Maybe it's time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Shut down my credit cards and access to our bank accounts. Which is outrageous because a lot of that money is mine, passed down through my family. Pardon me, but while I'm explaining my situation, could you please refrain from playing with your balls? Sorry. Thank you. I'm here because my husband is being a real a-hole. Pardon my French, and I need an even bigger a-hole to put him in his place. You seem to fit the bill. Okay, look, it is ridiculous and illegal for your husband to treat you like this. Now we're talking. You're his wife, for God's sake. You deserve everything he's got. You damn right I do. If you hire me, we will file a request for orders that your husband pay you support. Miller. Ah. Uh, God. I can't take your case. Wait, what? My partner informed me we have a conflict of interest. Your husband just retained the firm to represent him in your divorce. But how could he even know I was talking to you today? Apparently, he's retaining all the divorce attorneys in Beverly Hills. Oh, my God. What am I supposed to do now? Well, you could always go back to him. You're lucky these are the only ones I'm taking. Gordon, thank God you're here. Remember how you told me not to smoke pot in the house? You didn't, did you? No, I smoked in the car. And then sort of crushed it. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But I don't know about Mr. Powell's car. You crushed Mr. Powell's car? Which one? The Bentley? Which Bentley? The black one? That's his favorite Bentley. It wasn't my 
cold. I swear, it just came out of nowhere. You hit a tree. Trees don't come out of nowhere. It's not that bad. It's a tiny scratch. Oh. Senor Jesucristo, this girl is worth more than your life. Mr. Paulo's gonna murder you. But we can fix it, right? With some nail polish. Baby, it's a good thing you're pretty. Huh? You know what I told Mr. Paulo, are you? No. We'll take it to a body shop. I know a guy. He'd like it as good as new. <sighs> Mommy would rip my head off for this. But I knew you'd be cool. Oh, I'm cool, yeah. As long as you pay me back. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Carmen. The headlight is busted, too? I think it was just like that before. Are you saying Tucker is he okay? He's fine, Spence. He's been taking care of my parents' sister. Shannon? She's got custody of him. No, no, no. She's a horrible person. She's evil. She didn't seem that bad. You don't understand. Perry was the nice sister. Really? You have to do something. You can't let that woman raise my son. What can I do? She doesn't want me there. You belong in Tucker's life. Convince her somehow. You have to fight this. I am fighting. All I do is fight. I'm the only one fighting for any of this. Rosie! You're the one who's giving up. Allowing Ben to help you remember. Confessing for something you didn't do. What to say? Say you're innocent. Even if you don't trust yourself, trust me. I will fight for Taka. But you've got to fight for yourself. Okay. Okay, I'll fight. Good. Now listen. I'm needing your alibi tomorrow night. And we're going to talk to a lawyer. My alibi. Miss Trippin. Hey. She's got a name. It's Cinnamon. And she's going to save your life. See you tomorrow, Cheryl. on the favor. I have to pull together this party for Frances and her friends and I need you to pretend to be my maid. Um, I can't hear you. It's a bad connection. <sighs> Please, Carmen. It's just for a couple of hours and I'll pay you. Would you hire my cousin Danny too? She owes me a bunch of money. Well, I don't really need two maids. Yeah, but if you have two maids, people would think you're twice as rich. Okay. Okay, it's not me. Just to be here at 6 o'clock to help set up. And since you're twice as rich, maybe you can pay me twice as much. No, I can't. Carmen? Hello? Are you just waking up? I had a crazy night. Well, I found a way that you can pay me back for fixing Mr. Powell's car. We're gonna be working at my friend's party tonight. Last night was awesome. Hey. Oh. Hey. Text me. Did you sleep over? Yes. So? So? Good for you. He's hot, girl. You'll be fine. I met him doing shots at this time bar. And he dared me 20 bucks to go next door and get a tattoo. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you did check out. No. No regret? It says no regrets. That's how I live my life. Isn't it cool? Uh-huh. And it's permanent. <laughs> so, 
have a little friend's party tonight. Are you gonna come work with me? Yeah, sounds good. See you, D. What's up? Okay, you totally judging me right now. What? No, I would never. It's your life. No regrets. <laughs> call Rosie. No! But, but she's really good with kids. Like Mary Poppins, but Mexican. No! No, find me some Xanax. Do you have a prescription? Not for me, for him! I think that was Waterford. Call Rosie! What are we doing today? I want to say the usual, but is that boring? Only if you find perfection boring. <laughs> oh, Sean, no wonder people call you a genius. This is our new shampoo girl, Astrid. Mm. With hair this thick and bouncy, we're going to need extra time. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> How's that temperature for you? Glorious. Despite my day. Wow, it's so long. I'm about to reconcile with an ex. He just doesn't know it yet. Wish my day was that good. My sister lost her job. Oh. What kind of work does she do? She's a maid. She's probably good too, but her boss fired her for no reason at all. See, there's some kind of war going on between the woman who owns the placement agency. And this rich bitch who's used to getting things her way. No, no. There are two sides to every story. <laughs> oh, my scalp seems to be tingling. Is that normal? That means it's working. By the way, Marisol Suarez says hello. Rosie! Thank God you're here! Yes. I dropped everything and came as soon as you called, Jesse. Where did you go? Tucker, what's wrong? It's better work. Do you need a hug from Rosie? A hug? That's a big idea. There, there. Everything's gonna be okay. What? How do you do that? I guess he just likes my hugs. I told you. Maria Poppins. I'm so glad you wanted to meet you. You look lovely. I see no need for pleasantries. This divorce is happening. And eventually I will find an attorney to gain access to my money. Oh, my dear, even if you do, you'll never get your hands on the money. Oh, really? It's all been secreted away in offshore accounts where no one will ever find it. I'll find it. And until then, I will just trim back a bit. And when you still aren't getting it. Let me paint you a picture of your life without me. Imagine you're at a grocery store. Why would I be at a grocery store? You had to let your mate go. Oh, dear. You wander the aisles, searching for bargains. Your back aches as you bend to see the generic brands on the bottom shelf. You debate whether or not to splurge on the jumbo jar of peanut butter. I don't even eat peanut butter. You do now. The clerk rings up your items as the total approaches $17. You start to panic. You don't have that kind of money, Adrian. You pick through the filthy coins in your change purse. Yes, you have a change purse. Pennies are everything to you. I don't just throw them away. The time is too much. You have to put something back. Will it be the white bread? The single can of tuna? If only you would remember to bring your collection of coupons. Oh, that's... For the love of God, I 
You know so. Of course, you do have an option. This horrible nightmare all goes away. If you just come back to me. What's it gonna be, darling? Is this House of Phineas Putnam case study? Yes. Yes, it is. Such a talented architect. Alan just bought a Putnam and Vale. You should come see it sometime. We fly in Richard's private jet. Private jet? Damn, girl. I mean, how else would you fly? <laughs> so you'll come? Of course. But only if you come visit me in my chateau. In Switzerland. It's being remodeled right now, but maybe next year. Lovely. Well done. <laughs> Am I running on that Swiss chateau? I'll see you there. Miss Zoila, another big correction for your friend, Miss Zoila. Yes, these are delightful. But Carmen, I think you're laying the bacon on a little thick. Yes, Miss Zoila. Whatever you say, Miss Zoila. Excuse me. Thank you. Thanks again for doing this. You're doing great. Oh, I have to do my best. Or Miss Zoila beats me. She's so mean. Hey, where's your cousin Danny? Oh, oh she had to stop at the store for a minute, but she'll be back very soon. <laughs> Danny, where are you? Zola's party already started. Oh my god, that was tonight? I forgot. I'm sorry. What am I going wait? See you soon. Hello, I'll see you guys later. Oh, hey. Do I know you? Oh, yeah. You were working the door of Perry Westmore's party. You would allow me in. Right. Let me make it up to you. I'll buy you a drink. Unless you got somewhere else to go. Nope. I'm all yours. Miss Shannon. Rosie. I didn't realize he was still here. I wanted to stay with Tucker until he fell asleep. Well, you didn't have to do that. Jesse went home an hour ago. I don't mind. Actually, I could put Tucker to bed every night, if you'd like. Well, it's not necessary. I'll call a nanny service in the morning. Hmm. Is that what Tucker needs? Another stranger in his life when he's already lost his mommy and papi? He'll adjust. But if his nanny was someone he already knew, that would keep him calm and quiet. But my sister, what Your mean? sister is dead. And so is what happened between us. Besides, I thought you were calling the shots now. All right. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Thank you. You won't regret it. Oh, no. Yes, love and a look. It is one thing to defile a person's reputation, but to attack their hair? You've crossed a line. Good. I've got your attention. Now come in and sit down. Lucky for you, I look like a young Jackie O when I wear a headscarf. Why are you so hung up on Peter? You cheated on him. Who told you that? Peter. He knows? Uh-huh. Oh, dear. I never wanted him to find out. It was a mistake. It was a one-time thing. I, I kept it from him to spare him the pain. Well, he found out about it. Do you really think he's going to get back together with you after that? Maybe. If I spend the rest of my life making it up to him. Okay. What is going on with you? 
Why are you acting so desperate? Uh, I've been just so lonely. I guess I was grasping at anything that would help. You've gone through times in your life without men before you've gotten through those, right? It was different. I heard Zoila then. How men have come and gone. But Zoila, she was my constant. She just needs time. She'll come around. What if she doesn't? Mary, what happened? You said you were on your way an hour ago. I was. But then I met this guy. He was super cute. Have you been drinking? A little. Are you mad? No. Open. Uh, no. Take this other. Come on. Let's go. And the next thing I know, Zoila tells Mario Batali his meatballs are good, but that hers are better. Well, they are. <laughs> so I turn to Mario and I say, oh. Oops. Oops. You just ruined my blouse. Well, you moved it to me. You know what? It was an accident. Nobody's fault. I'll just get some club soda for the club soda won't work on silk. I'll have you know this is Bribois. That's French. Is it French for ugly? What did you say to me? I'm sorry, Francis. She's new. No, don't apologize for her. What is it with your generation? The entitlement. You're nothing but a rude little brat. Hey, don't talk to Danny that way, you old bag of bones. Oh, <sighs> So, are you going to allow this? Carmen, Danny, please apologize to my friend. Oh, she's your friend? Yes. Now say you're sorry. Carmen? Okay, you're fired, both of you. That's fine, but quit. Come on. So I know exactly how you feel. It's so hard to find good help. You were not so fast tonight. I never got to pay you. I did your favor working the party tonight. And you embarrassed me in front of all those people. Look, I'm sorry about that. But all you had to do was apologize. All you had to do was take my side. You're the one who encouraged me to play the part. Well, you're playing it a little too well. What's that supposed to mean? You know, you say you're doing this for all the free stuff. But I think you like being one of those people. What is that so bad? Yeah, Zoila, I saw you tonight kissing everyone's ass. It's just like you're a completely different person. Well, maybe that's the point, okay? Maybe I don't want to be myself. What are you talking about? Look at my life. I'm wearing nice clothes. I'm going to fancy parties. I have a chateau in Switzerland. I'm not angry and empty all the time. I never lost a baby. The new me gets to be happy. So the old you was my friend. We have lots to celebrate. Shall we have called the truce? Well, I'm glad. Threesomes get a lot of hype, but 
I'm looking forward to just be the two of us. Mm, I'll drink to that. also right and you were being a brat you defended me because I wasn't gonna stand her and let her talk to you like that but you were out of line she bumped into me okay can you stop daddy please stop it's not only about tonight it's the boys the drugs you're crashing cars I thought you were cool with all of that but I'm not cool okay I'm not I'm worried you're going down a bad road. Oh my god, don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I'm talking to you like a kid because you're acting like a kid. Well, it's none of your business what I do. You're not my mom. You're right. I'm not. Yeah, Josefina, it's Carmen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling about Daniela. I think she needs you. Hey, 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 entrance around from. Oh, no, I, I just, I'm here to see Cinnamon. Yeah, well, Cinnamon didn't show up for work today. What? She missed her shift. Now the girls know where she is. She's a stripper. Sometimes they just disappear. Poor Rosie. She'll be so sad to learn that Spencer's alibi has gone up in smoke. Yeah. Poor little Rosie. You'll have to go easy on her now that she's working here. You okay with that? Actually, I think it's kind of brilliant. Keep your friends close. Your enemies even closer. Previously on Devious Maids. Oh my god. I've been keeping Tucker away from it all. Does he know what happened to his mommy? He knows, but I don't think he understands. Spence Westmore, you're under arrest for the murder of Perry Westmore. If someone suspects, I can prove he's innocent. Oh yeah, he was here. So he was here between one and three and not at home? Yeah, I'm here to help. We need to find out who really killed Perry. I have a witness. Her name is Cinnamon. This case is closed. We've already got a confession. Okay. As long as I'm in this chair, she won't leave me. Give it up. I know you can walk. I'm leaving you. Evelyn, we were meant to be together. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you. I'm Daniela, your cousin Josefina's daughter. That girl's your daughter? My cousin Josefina, she raised her as her own. So she doesn't even know she's adopted. I'm gonna be working here. How's it me? Name? I'm a hot girl. I can see that. Fashion is that just bought this place and she's gonna be gone for six months. I was drinking and trying on the owner's gowns. This really cute guy came over and assumed I own the house, so I went with it. Kyle, is that you? 
You didn't mention your mother was visiting. Oh, she's not visiting. She lives here. Your mother's great. I can see why you want to spend time with her. I like her too, but not for you. I have other plans for you, Kyle. So I think there's something between us. Peter, husband number three. The one who got away. Please stop dating Peter. I'm not breaking up with him. This means war. I can't believe you've never been here. It's one of my favorites. Well, you have good taste in men. I'm sure you have good taste in food, too. Oh, I have great taste in food. Jerry's still out of the men. <laughs> Hi, I have a reservation. Marisol's flight is for two. I don't have you. I just called yesterday. Well, it's not there. <laughs> you don't seem to be that busy. I'm sure you could still see this even without a reservation. I'm afraid not. Take that couple to table nine, please. Oh, they don't have a reservation. I'm sorry. One of our regulars has requested we not serve you. Excuse me. I think what you're doing is shameful, seeing that woman's husband. Ex-husband. Peter, how wonderful to see you. Jodie are you blocking us from eating here? I love the smell of that aftershave. Or is that just your natural manly musk? Don't talk about his musk. What a shame you couldn't be seated. Would you like to join me, Peter? I have an extra chair. She is ignoring me. You can see very well that I'm with Marisol. Perhaps she can have a little doggy bag in the car. Don't make me take off my earrings. Come on, we'll go somewhere else. I told you she was upset. Can't you do anything about it? John B. Evans is like a brain tattoo. If we ignore her, she'll stop it. Eventually. Come on. You're a studio head. You terrify people for a living. All she did was cancel a reservation. If that's the worst she's got, it's not really that bad. Can I guess you right? There's my car. What the hell? John Vian Bellator says hello. Honey, what are you doing? Oh, my bad. I don't care about the couch, I'm talking about the <laughs> Relax. It's medical marijuana. Really? Yes, I have glaucoma. You shouldn't be doing drugs. I thought you were cooler than this. I'm cool. It's just like my mom telling me how to live my life. That's why I had to get away from her. You didn't let me finish. You shouldn't be doing drugs inside the house. If Mr. Powell walked in, you'd be in big trouble. Oh, I mean, if it was just you and me, I said, <laughs> do whatever you want. I don't mean I'm fun. But Mr. Powell will fire you like that. Oh, gracias, Carmen. Where are you going? Did Mr. Powell ask you to scrub the floors? He did. But my glaucoma really hurts. I've known him for years. You see? You were tricked. 
And somehow you were threatened to come back into... Rosie, I can see it in my mind. I killed Perry. You couldn't have. I found you an alibi. The police didn't want to hear about it because she's a stripper. Rosie, stop. The only thing that matters now is Tucker. He doesn't have a mom or a dad anymore. All he has is you. Me? I don't want him to become a ward of the state. Nor his nanny. You're great with him. I know it's a lot. I will take care of your son, Spence. But only until I get you out of here. I just have to call if I heard anything interesting about Spence Westmore. Yeah, what's up? His ex found him an alibi. Oh, that's certainly interesting. Hey. Hi. I hope it's okay for me to just pop by. Are you kidding? You're my favorite neighbor. And not just because Mrs. Azarian retrieves the morning paper in her brazier. Yeah. I promise to never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carl home? I was hoping he could come out and play. Oh, no, he's out of town. Family business. Oh, I hope everything is okay. Oh, nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm just surprised he never mentioned a trip. If it's any consolation, he left me in the lurch, too. We have plans today. Oh. Any chance you want to come to a charity lunch with me today? I, look, I know you're hoping for Kyle, but honestly, I'm much better company. I, no doubt. It, it's just... Uh, 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 you're going to love it. It's a thousand bucks a plate. You don't have to pay a nickel. A thousand bucks a plate? I mean, some change for you and me. But still, Mario Batali is catering. Oh, and the gift bags. And last year's door prize was a trip to Barcelona. Oh, my God. Is that a yes, then? That's a hell yes. Wonderful. Being in my circle has its perks, Oila. You'll see. It's lovely of you to check on me, Marisol, but I am fine. Oh, well, divorce is never easy, so if there's anything you need... Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you smell amazing. I just had a detox massage. Lemongrass, coconut oil, and ho-ho-ba. I don't know what ho-ho-ba is, but it sure is a hoot to say ho-ho-ba. <laughs> if it's not completely obvious, they allowed me to drink vodka during my detox massage. Unbelievable. Another one of my maids was just fired from her job. That is the third one today. What a shame. I know this might sound crazy, but I think Genevieve Delator is behind it. Oh, don't be silly. Of course she's behind it. You're dating her ex. She put a fatwa out on you. A fatwa? Oh, yes. You are persona non grata in Beverly Hills. It's a risk for me to even be talking to you. You weren't followed, were you? Stop that. It's just the hotel manager. I'll only be a moment. Hello, Theodore. This is Powell. I need to speak with you about a sensitive matter. Before you say anything, that massage therapist placed my hand there himself. No, no, it's not that. Uh, Mrs. Powell, the credit card we have for you has been... declined. Declined? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that concept. Unfortunately, you can't stay in the room without a found card. I don't understand. Our business manager always pays the bills promptly. Adrian sees to that. Adrian. Carmen, which one of these canes goes best with my golfing attire? Why do you need a cane? I've been faking paralysis for the better part of six months. I'd like my sudden recovery to be miraculous, but still believable. The black one, the gold one, makes you look like a pimp. Hmm. Gold it is. I thought I asked young Daniela to do the floors today. Oh, she did them. But I wanted to do them again. I'm a perfectionist. I mean, you don't just miss a spot. You miss entire rooms. 
I'm turning over a new leaf. You let this girl get away with murder. She's out all night. She doesn't come to work. I don't understand why you don't say something. I want to, okay? But it's not my job to fix her. You're her mother. No. Her mother is my cousin, Josefina. And she's very judgmental. Danny can't stand it. She's so just gonna be what? Her, uh, friend? Danny just needs me to be cool. I didn't have anyone telling me what to do at that age. Yes, and look how good you turned out. So, how's it been going with Tucker? No, 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 Pretty much like that. He's been having a meltdown all day, and I'm about to have a meltdown myself. It's all right. Spence wants me to look after Tucker from now on. I don't know just what he needs. And exorcism? He needs a lovey. A stuffed animal or a blanket he carries around like it's the most important thing in the world. He has something like that. It, it was dirty, so I was going to throw it in the wash. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He stopped. You just missed your friend, didn't you, Tucker? <laughs> you know, I'm much better at this. Don't take it personally. He's just missing his mommy and papi. So, how is Spence? He's convinced he killed Perry, but it doesn't make any sense. Do you know a guy named Ben? Sure, he's Perry's manager. He visited the jail right before Spence confessed. But I know it sounds weird, but I'm wondering... No, it's not weird. Before Perry died, Spence was starting to remember things. And then Ben talked to him. And then Spence was different. He didn't even want to remember it anymore. Ben is washing Spence's brain. That's why he confessed. Oh, hello. I didn't realize anyone would be here. Can I help you? I'm sure I'm Perry's sister. I still can't believe she's gone. Of course. But my condolences. I'm Jessie. I worked for her. Oh, oh. I knew her too. I'm Rosie. Yes. You're the one who stole my sister's husband. What's with the password, mommy? You look like Hillary Clinton. I just came from a very swanky charity luncheon where they gave out these. It's party favors. Ah, Maria Purisima. Is that real goal? Can I just say, I freaking love being rich. They just give you that for free? Apparently, if you have money, they just give you free stuff. I really hate you right now. That's not all. Francis's friends keep inviting me to dinner parties. I'm never paying for a meal again. Don't say anything to Marisol. She got me my job. I don't want her to know about all this.